Animating text in the form of a cylinder is a creative way to deal with a text. So, today we're gonna make one together inside Adobe After Effects. Okay, first things first. As always, make a comp. But this time, your comp should be the size of your text. Otherwise, the tile wouldn't work. Next is design. Design is an important factor to spice up your cylinder. Yes, you can make a cylinder with a solid text or even tiles of a single word. But if you want the cylinder to have depth, you should add more details and variations to your text. And that's why I'm using different texts with different font styles and adding some shapes to the design. I'll even add the CC ball action to some of the shapes to make them differ. I'll set the grid spacing to 0 and the ball size to 35. Alright, next I'm gonna pre-comp all the layers and call it text 2. Then I create another comp called holder and increase the width for the other two tiles. Decrease the layer size a bit to fit better and get ready for the motion tile effect. I'll set the output width to 300, which means I want it to be tripled from the sides. But you can determine the number of tiles for each side based on your design. Then adjust the comp size to the size of the tiles. Next, I'm gonna create another comp and call it cylinder, 1920 by 1080. Import the holder to the cylinder comp and add the CC cylinder effect to the layer. Now you can play with the rotation parameters and whenever something like this happened in the edges, go back to the holder comp and increase the comp size until the text cylinder is fully visible. You can tilt it in any direction you want and adjust the lighting to that. I'm gonna keyframe the Y rotation to have the cylinder spinning from the beginning to the end in one turn. And if you want a faster or slower spin, you can play with the rotation amounts until it looks good. You can also change the position of the cylinder, and I want it further in the Z-axis. Next, I'm gonna add the 4-color gradient effect to the layer, and make an interesting combination of colors for my text cylinder. Then, adjust the source of each color to my liking. Next, we need some nice glow on the cylinder. I'll duplicate it to make it more pronounced. I like it, but yours can turn out to be much better than this in terms of design and complexity. And finally, create a gradient background. So add a new solid layer, apply the gradient ramp to that, and choose two dark colors that are matched with your design. And this is it. Text cylinder in a nutshell. Now go get creative with it. Good luck.